Good day YouTube, Jay Kismon from the Artbox of Scanhead. I'm going to teach you guys a very simple tutorial on how to create a combo search box for your Microsoft Access and this tutorial can be applied to all versions of Microsoft Access, that's right. Okay, so um, this is very easy guys and it's very interesting because um, whatever I search here, it will reflect on my form, that's right. And I use two tables here, I have my main uh, form, my main table my patient table and this is the history of that patient so um, you can see guys that if you select two then all patients I mean that patient the history of that patient uh, will reflect on the uh, sub form so very cool yeah this is what I want so let's uh, create this journal and I hope that um, it can help you out whatever um, um, problems you have with the Microsoft Access pertaining to searching okay so let's just create a new form and the best way to create a new form is by going to the create by the way let me show first the uh, patient table here so this is what's in my patient table the Pino is my primary key in my history table the HID is my primary key and the PNO is just my foreign key okay so I did not use the Pino as my primary key Okay, this is my foreign key. So let's go to the uh, create and let's make a new form. The best way to create, the fast way to create, faster way to create a new form is by going to the more forms and then select the form wizard. That's right, and we have here two tables. We have the uh, patient profile and the uh, history. Uh, since patient profile is our main table, so let's click it and then select all the fields. Okay, then click next, select columnar, and then uh, select a design, then click next. Okay, so uh, you put the title here, and then here, let's just go to the modify the form design. Then let's click finish. Okay, so this is our form. Okay, let's add the uh, search combo box. Yep. So let's go to design here, design, and then select combo box here. This is the combo box. See that? Okay, let me uh, show it to you. Okay, that's right. You select that. That's the combo box. Okay, click that, and then let's add it here. okay and then we go to find a record on my form let's click that click next yes we're going to use the Pino for our searching so let's click the Pino let's click the next and uh, yes this is how it looks like in your combo box so I have my records here Pino records and uh, click next okay this is the label you can change it then click finish okay so let's adjust this <clears throat> okay so let's run our um, form and let's try to check it if it works okay so here let me go to three let's write it change three let's go to four and I have now my record number four cool okay let's add another um, Okay, you right click and let's go to design view and let's add our subform. Okay, so this is how very simple. The easiest way to add a subform is simply by dragging the table. So this is my history table. You simply drag it. Okay, there. Then we have here guys choose from a list. Okay, so we have your show history for each record in patient profile profile using the PNO. Okay, this is what I want. So I want to display um, the history of that particular patient once the PNO is selected so, or search. So you click next and put some labels here. Uh, you can modify that later and then you click finish. Okay, so here it is. Let's run the form. Okay, uh, let's observe. Let's try it. Let's go to three okay so I have now the history of that patient if I go to two I have the history of that patient and what is cool guys is 
you can add the rec you can add new records here yes and you can also search within this uh, form so very interesting uh, by the way if you are not interested having this uh, navigation bar below and uh, you want to modify also the settings of your um, sub form you can you can you can do that by simply going to the properties but uh, we're not going to include that in this journal okay so let me um, go back to the design view and uh, okay I will remove the HID because I don't need the foreign key the primary key in my sub form only the foreign key so let me play this again and here it is so it's not really it's not that really difficult it's very easy guys I hope this tutorial can help you out thank you very much this is Jake Kismo from the artworks of Scanhead